Okay, got to get this together. Hey, I realize. See, the thing is, see, I have a microphone that goes with the phone. This not this one. But anyway, it's a, it's a sure. But what it is is that I'm supposed, I have never done it. I'm supposed to go online and, 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 and um, change the parameters, you know. So I haven't done that. So therefore, it gives me the same basically quality as when I talk straight to the phone because these are uh, these one plus phones they seem to have a uh, really good microphones well they have they have good cameras but the uh, the sound the sound is is good 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 enough for whatever work <laughs> as i say good enough for government work so anyway as you know this is another well as you may or may not know this is another uh making of i uh i did a uh making of when i'm posting on my uh Instagram. So what I do is I usually do it from the very beginning. I mean, I, well, I mean, when you make something, you're supposed to do it. Well, my my interpretation is you're supposed to do it from from when you start setting up. You know, when when you walk out the door. Okay, so I put that there like that. I do see the the flag. That's the flag from the guy from the binaural kind of. It's an art flag. People think it's a, it's a. Uh, see, people would mistake. I shouldn't say a mistake. Uh, the the um, the how you say it. Our uh, our brothers, our revolutionary peoples, they have uh, adopted. They, uh, some people use it. Some people don't. I saw, I saw Le, LeBron James had it. It's on T-shirts now. I saw LeBron James had T-shirt, but it's a, it's um, I guess everything's political, but it's really a, an art piece. It's not a political kind of thing. Just so you know. Oh, I gotta get my other thing together here. Where's my oh? Where's it at? Oh, it's right. <laughs> right in front of me. Um, so that's what that is. In fact, I gotta run that brother down, man. I got I really want to interview that brother. And um, so we're setting up for the Instagram, as you know. Set that up, but I gotta do. Oh, where's my incense? Hey, I'm out here. You know, I finished my walk this morning. I'll listen to Miss Neil. I'll, I'll do that. Oh, I've got to put that part of it into the interview. Let's second. Let me, let me get the. Uh, gotta light the incense, you know, clear, clear the space <laughs> of any bad vibes. You know, when you move into, just uh, many of you know this already, but when you move into a new space, a new house or something like that, this is not. Well, you don't mind if it's a little skewed. It doesn't matter. Um, then you're supposed to do, you're supposed to, you know, smudge yourself. Well, I say smudge, but um, sit smoke incense or whatever off into uh, all the corners of that new house to get rid of any spirits that might, you know, be left over from that new house. Whether, I guess whether they're bad, good, or um, or indifferent. So when, it, when you move into a new space, you should remember to do that. You know, take a couple of incense, a couple, a few incense sticks, sticks or something, something that smokes and, uh, you know, you smoke out your, uh, smoke out your corner so you get any spirits that might be hiding in the corners out of the space, right? I'm moving around all the time, so I, I don't do incense, well, when I'm certain places I do incense, certain places I don't, depends on where I am, because I don't know if anybody into the smoke. All that smoke. Okay, are we ready? Almost ready. Wait a second. Let me uh, use some water. Now, this is my favorite current, favorite water. C2O coconut water. C2O coconut water. And these coconuts are from Thailand. So Thailand's cool. I don't like the ones from the Philippines. I don't like that. There was another, well, Philippines, Thailand. Then there's these people... And I think this is the one that tied in that they come from, uh, uh, oh, this is Long Beach, California. There's some other people that, it's like, it's like this is going to be big, huge business. Now, I hate, man, I've been doing coconut water for a while, but you know what happens. They, uh, let me put this, I like to put things back in the place right when I, when I do it. So this is the lighter for the, uh, thing. what the, Oh, whatever. Oh, I better do this. Oh, I better make sure that nobody can call me again. I do it that way. Vibrate. Um, 
let me set this so it don't go off in the middle of something. That 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 display. Oh, 30 minutes. Okay, so, all right. Put the thing off. Let me see who's uh, so people here. The pack of this Tom Gross. Tom Grossy. Tom Grossy. I just like he does, he does the pack cast. You know, up there in Wisconsin, I guess. But I don't know where he is. But I, I like to listen to him because actually right now what I'm doing. Oh, the recycle guy got there. What I do now is, you know, the football games are like what they are, but, but they have these things. I get the NFL put out these things like a, a they, let, they take about 15 minutes, somewhere between 15, no more than 20 minutes, of re, re, redoing the whole football game. So, you know, you look at that, see everything around the room. And if, if there's a team that you're particularly interested in, I guess you can go usually the next couple of days, they, uh, they post the whole game someplace, you know, so you can see the whole game if you're really that into it. Me, uh, sometimes I... Depends on what it is. Okay, am I ready? Oh, no, not ready. I gotta set the Instagram thing up here. Oh my oh, just a second, just a second. I'm not telling you this this is the making of. You don't say just a second of making of. You'll you'll hang in there, you just hang there, right? Well, um, just to just to recap, what I do is I, I use my YouTube for for archival purposes only. So this making of is part of the archival series. But I put anything I put on here gets gets put on YouTube and then it gets put, put on BitChute as my backup archival service. Right? So that's but uh, that's why I do it that way. Uh oh. Oh yeah, this is right. Okay. Ah. Oh, need the glasses. It's a thing. Got to introduce. Cause you know we have, we have our ways of doing stuff. This is how I do things. Uh, like that. Okay. Everything is well. Mm -hmm. ah. It's interesting because I, I drink out of the thing and people say that. I, I learned this. I got to do this one of these days. I, I'll do a speech or something like that. But this thing called backwash. You know when you do that that. But when you you know your your enzymes or whatever your your bacteria goes into whatever you've been drinking, right? It's called backwash. I learned that from when I was working for the Sopranos, uh, because they had a scene in there where AJ, you know, Tony Soprano's son, was with his with his boys in there. You know, something about backwash, huh? What the heck's that? You know, I ain't never, I ain't grew up in that culture, you know. And so that's where they, you know, I guess somewhere. Anyway, so I said that. So, so you don't. So these. So what happens is. I've adapted that these days. You know, people say, um, what are they, uh, they, they say people are clout chasing, whatever it is, or, or, or when something happens and then, you know, we, we respond to it. Do you know what I mean? So you respond to neg if you respond to a negative thing, then you're responding to negativity. So naturally your response, even though you might think it's positive, is responding to a negative thing. So basically it's all a negative, negative, negative. So uh, these things that happen these days, I call everything like, oh, you're, you're in there backwash. So it's a good example. I, I don't really want to bring the boy up, but I got to bring the boy up because everybody is into the boy. So when Donald Trump does something and you react to it, you're in his, you're in his backwash, you know? This is kind of interesting, don't you think? You know, if you just ignore, ignore some people, you just do what you got to do, and that's what it is. Yeah, you no, don't worry about it. Okay, here we go. Got it. Gotta address my Instagram audience. Here we go. All three or four or five of them. Okay. What are you beating on yourself for, brother? Oh, hey, it's me, Instagram T from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. Oh, somebody's doing some home improvement around here. Hey, this is one of these neighborhoods where people are constantly, you know, you know, you know, you know people are fixing up their house because they own their own house, you know, they're cutting the grass, whatever happens, because I'm in Virginia. Hey, hey, what can I tell you? That's what they do here. Uh, other than, well, some other places do some other things. Hey, so I, I was doing, I did my walk this morning, as usual. Right? And, um, and so this morning, uh, what I did, oh, I had downloaded, um, as usual, um, uh, the weekly Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s um, 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 thing with, with, with Mr. Bobby. You know, every every Tuesday they come on, which means tomorrow they come on. And I just wait. And I download it. Usually I download it from this guy, uh, VRWS, Victor White Supremacy. I think that's his thing. But I couldn't find it. Thing. Maybe they did something. To, I don't know what, what they did. So I did it from the, the Produce Justice site. But this, this, I don't think this is a good idea. When I say I, I think I assume because I think they got they got 
attorneys, they got lawyers, everything of well, now and Mr. Neely Fools, you've got all this stuff with their thing. But the problem is this. If you if that's the site, right, the things are coming through, they do the call Nelson show when these pills are they put put them up there like that. The problem becomes uh, when they shut that site down, there's no other out, out, outlets. You see what I'm saying? It's like, um, how can I explain it? Um, like, the more, the more, the, if you have your, your, your main, let's call it nut in the theater we call it, your main nut, your main thing that you, uh, um, that you make your, your thing from, your, whatever it is, then, and if other things are spread out around it, then my personal belief is that let it sprout. It's, if it doesn't take away, if that, they're not slandering you, something like that. Now, I know um, VRWS, uh, that guy, where whoever he is, you know what I mean? He doesn't ask for money or anything like that. He just he does his thing, and it's really, it's really a good thing. I think it's a good service. And you should put him into the fold. If they were smart at produce justice, just like they do with Carl Nelson, for, I, for some reason, they, they this is Carl Nelson, Carl Nelson. I don't care about Carl Nelson in Washington, D.C. I shouldn't say that, but Carl Nelson is a good program. Has, he has a lot of good people on there, you know, from the, uh, from, from the all, all the Hotep brothers and stuff like that, you know, go on his show, and this is good. This is good. So let me leave it. Like Rock Newman, I don't want to, you know, to disparage you on them like that. However, if they can, on their site, you know, promote, but basically put the link to Carl Nelson, they should be putting the link to like when 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 the guys do the do the cartoons or, or Miss Nilly Fuller. Again, they should link. They should link to that too. You know, not the repeat, not not uh, not R uh, uh, W S, you know, or uh, uh, yeah, V V R. Uh, WS because he's just straight up, you know, repeating what they're doing, and they have their own download thing. But uh, I hope they're not trying to cut these folks out because the more you can spread out, because everybody has different audiences. You know what I mean? And some people don't know nothing about ProduceJustice.com. Why am I? Okay, so that's great. So, but part of the thing they're talking about because I, I there's a new movie out. I advise talking about the 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 warrior king, the oh, the women king, the women warrior king, whatever. They're about the Dahomey people like that. Here's what I know about the homie. First, I learned about the homie long, long time ago. I went on this uh, Frank. No, this was this must have been in the. This had to be the seventies. Yeah, it had to be the seventies. And I was, uh, I was tell people if they want to learn about black. I know it was when Roots came out. Before, right before Roots came out, um, I had. Uh, oh, as a time, someone Roots, you know. Um, you know the, the guy that wrote uh, that helped um, Malcolm X with his uh, with his uh, Alex Haley. Um, um, and uh, this is before the big controversy, but that he basically plagiarized a book called Jubilee by Margaret Walker, right? Now, I had read Jubilee, but here's the thing. I also read this guy, Frank Yerby, that had the Dahomian. It's called a Dahomian, I think. Yeah, Dahomian by Frank Yerby. Frank Yerby is this, this guy that... All these guys that wrote in the fifties, they're really, they were really good, right? They, Frank Yerby, he wrote that, that's, that's African. But he has all these, like... Uh, I guess they used to call them slave novels, something like that. Well, novels about the South, you know what I mean, and their relationship like that. And he's a really good writer. I used to, I, I read a lot of his books, you know, the, 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 they, he did like these swashbuckling, I think. Uh, the one of the books I really like, oh, the Saracen Blade, and I know that's not a slave novel. It's about uh, how the, um, the assassins, <laughs> the people that assassinate, with their, their beginnings like that. There's these like historical novels that I really like, uh, like that. So I would tell people, look, if you want to know about the black experience in, uh, from Africa through through slavery on to you know civil rights, right? Then the three books you should read is the Dahomean in this order: the Dahomean, Jubilee. Right, because the whole slave thing, the, the homie is about Africa and then going to the, the captives like that. And then the last one would be the autobiography of Mr. Uh, Miss Jane Pittman. Is that uh, is that Ernest Gaines? Oh, whatever his name. Sorry, sorry, brother. Right. Yeah. But the autobiography of Mr. Jane Pittman, you know from, from you know from the movie. And that's how we get a lot of stuff from the movies. In fact, I would you know this 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 whole thing about the women warrior i knew this was going to happen anyway as soon as this black panther came out and they said the, about the, the women thing and i said oh they got us soon sooner or later they're going to get to the dahomey and kind of kind of thing like that but of course <laughs> there's some controversy right? and so uh they're talking about it but i don't comment on stuff that i haven't seen or read or whatever it is 
So, uh, so I was thinking, okay, so I was walking, I was thinking, I said, ah, well, maybe I'll go see that movie today because I'm down here in Virginia. The movie's cost less down here and I do the senior citizen things. So I don't want to give them a lot of money. You know what I mean? So I figured I'd do that, right? So I came, I came home, you know, to, to, did my wash and was doing all So my sister comes, she, goes, she works nice, she came and she said, do you want to go see? And see, I was going to go, you know, whatever. I said, go I said, sure, because we have this thing when I'm down here. There's a place in, in Portsmouth called the Commodore Theater. It's this, it's, it has a whole history. It's a dinner theater. I, I post about this before. So, so as it ends up, to make a long story a little shorter, <laughs> so I'm going to go and do our traditional thing, go to Commodore Theater. Now I'm going to pay. Usually, usually, usually she'll pay or something like that. Ah, and then she'll pay for the food, whatever. I don't really like their food, tell you, too, it's too salty, whatever it is. <laughs> And uh, I guess I have to break my fast later on tonight because I'm, this is my Monday. It's a Monday, and I don't, I don't eat on Mondays. You know, I usually um, I stop eating like Sunday night, and I usually go 24 hours would be late, like m Monday, right? But then um, usually I go to the next day Tuesday, so it makes 36 hours. So I'll do I'll eat something the Commodore Y because I'm paying for my well I'm paying for the ticket. But what I like about the Commodore Theater, I think whatever the I think the ticket price, I don't know if they give you a senior citizen, I think the ticket price is like something like 18 bucks. I guess that's a lot, isn't it? Whatever it is. But they give you the change in, in like $2, $2 notes. You know what I mean? Now, if they don't have the $2 note, then I'll be, you know, whatever. So I collect those $2 notes. You know, not a lot. Just, just every time I go there. And every time I come down to Virginia, sooner or later, my sister, she likes the Commodore Theater. So I usually go with my sister to the Commodore Theater just to... Yeah, it's one of our things. You have rituals with your family like that. So I'm going to see the the woman king, the woman warrior, whatever it's called, the one with you know Viola Davis, you know Ma Rainey, you know the, the woman, you know, with, with, you know, she, oh, she got the range and everybody in Hollywood loves her and whatever have you. In case she's also defending the movie. Oh no, blah blah blah. And they, I think they're also blaming like, uh, they, they they always say black men, right? It's really the. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, the aware community, like what, what's happening, like that. I mean, if they really want to do some women warriors, I guess they have to go back then. But sooner or later, they, I guess they're going to get to um, uh, uh, Muammar Gaddafi's, you know, uh, um, his uh, his inner circle, his inner circle, his 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 women bodyguards, whatever have you. But I'm going to see the movie, and when I finish, I'll I'll do a, a inst I'll do an Instagram po posting after the after the movie, okay? So that's what I'll do now. I'll do it tonight, I'll do it right after, the, I don't know. I don't know when I do it. Do it. I don't, I'll do it sometime, yeah? Give you my impressions of what's happening. Now you have to remember, um, I have a lot of hats here because I'm a conscious person like that, but I'm also a film person. I'm a sinner, 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 I'm a sinner, sinner, sinner. I'm a sinner person, right? Um, and I've been doing, I mean, since I night. Before, I ran away from home to the movie theaters at nine years old. So I've been going to movies since I was since seven, since I don't know, in the Bronx movie theater, right? So I know a lot about films. And in fact, my my, my undergraduate degree, though it's in communications, my it's like a double major. And then the other one was 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 uh, English literature and film studies, like that. And one of my first tasks when I got to the BAI was doing film reviews, right? So anyway, so I'll I'll, I'll check it out. I'll tell you all about it. And we'll see what we will see. I will say this. Let me say one last thing. The way you, there's a thing that happened with uh, with Miss Neely Fuller Jr.'s broadcast. Somebody, um, somebody in the chat said something about the police. Every breath you take, and they try to relate it to like because the group is called the police, and the you know stinks, stinks. The group that Sting was in, called the police. Every breath you take is a song, but it's about a girl or whatever. Happened. And the, the the chat was trying to make it about black. Uh, the police and the black da, da. luckily somebody called in and, he, and Mr. Bobby did announce it over the air that it was really about a, a girl you know what I mean but you know they tried to I don't know why we, we do this thing I do want to say one thing about film there's this film I always tell people if you want to know about how there's this whole thing with especially with black people the white people are afraid of white supremacists whoever are afraid that if black people take over right there'll be some sort of retribution. What you did to us, we'll do to you. I guess that's why they keep on flooding. I don't know. I don't know what the, but that's what the mentality is, right? But here's the thing. And so nobody's really addressed that. You know, well, people address it, but no, but, 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 but it's not really out there, out there like that. And, and, but 
I had this thing one time, like I said, see a lot of film. And I said, well, what is the most, what, what is a popular film that will address this whole black situation, how the black revolution would look in the United States and how it would end up, right? And I said, what's the problem? Now, people will just something like, or they make black films like 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 Z or uh, State of Siege or, uh, or uh, what do you call that? Uh, uh, um, um, uh, there's, there's certain films they talk about, like Burn, like a, even people even say Sweet Sweet Back, uh, certain films they call as revolutionary films like that. But to me, the most accessible film on black revolution, follow me on this, I've said this before other places, was written, was a short story that was adapted to film. The short story was written by an English woman. And you know, the English, they started all that. They started all this mess with, with, with them. Let's put it the way, they kind of, they, they made slavery popular, whatever it is, right? No, no matter what the, 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 the Dahomeans have done, right? It's like, yeah, but <laughs> between the Catholic Church and England, they just really, you know, made slavery pop. In fact, if you want to learn really about slavery, then, then go go check out some other kind of books. Right? But for film, I was, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I said, oh, the film, like I said, it's a short story written by an English, white English woman, and directed by an English director who made his bones in the United States, became popular in the United States, right? So it's one of those English, uh, British, whatever, transport, right? And the film is by Alfred Hitchcock. It's called The Birds. Now, if you want to uh, just ch follow me on this, go check out The Birds. And think of The Birds as, you know, there's a main force of like, well, there's all kinds of birds, right? There's this main force, of, like the crows, whatever it is. Those are the most dangerous ones. Those are the black ones, right? But then there's all other kinds of birds. Look at the gradations of black of, of black people. You know what I mean? You've got some of the high yellows. You've got some, you know, near, damn near white. Oh, whatever, whatever it is. But the main thing is birds. But what happens in the film, I'm, I'm going to spoil it for you because I know you ain't going to go seek it out. So and it's hard to find. Actually, it's hard to find. They don't show the birds a lot. You know, I got a copy. I got a... Uh, DVD copy someplace. Well, I think it's, I think it's up in New York. Maybe I took it to South Africa. But anyway, that film, if you look at it from the from the start, when when they have the the, the two birds in the love cage and they taking it away, and that's when he first gets attacked. So the, the cage, the, in, the, the what do you call that? The enslaved. You know, yeah, you know, love birds are having they they love they having a good time someplace, and then there's somebody captures them, brings them to the brings them to the uh, to, to the uh, but pet store, you can look at that as bringing it to like like Cuba or, or Jamaica when they was the thing, and then it gets sold off, you know. And then when, you see, so that's what happens. And anyway, oh, Loretta Dumas calling me. I gotta I gotta go and, and I gotta leave you all now because I gotta go uh, talk to Loretta. Okay, so I have to call her back actually. So let's we'll see what happens. Let me just pick the horse so she'll she'll well let me talk to her. Okay, so I got to go. But anyway, so at the end of that movie, right, I'm not going to tell you what the end is because, go, no, I, sh I shouldn't do that to you. Okay, now at the end of the movie, basically what happens is the birds have won their little fight and the, the, the people that started the thing, they let them go. And, hey, you just, just get out of here. To me, it's like the same thing as, like I always say about, about Africa, you know. Um, uh, Mengelisa Robert Sabukwe said, to be African, you have to be humane. You, to be on, you have to be humane. It's about humanity, right? So the thing is, my thing is like Africa is a continent. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna be an African, any, I don't care if you're there already, whatever it is, then you have to be humane. If you're not humane, off the continent, go someplace else. There's other people doing some other stuff. Just go, <laughs> you know. So, so all these African leaders, so-called African leaders, and all these other people that do, that they're bringing the criminality to, to to Africa. I'm talking about the whole continent now. Right? Then leave the continent. Do your stuff someplace else. There's a lot of uh, there's other there's six other continents on the planet. Go someplace else. Africa is for humanity. It's not for you to plunder and loot or whatever have you, right? And we ain't gonna bother you. We're gonna let you slide out, you see? So there you go. Check it out, the birds. Africa cost the birds. Came out in the early sixties, even before the it wasn't even a reflection on what was happening in the sixties. Maybe it was. Well I know. Anyway, so I'll check you all later. Be well, I guess. Take care. Oh, okay.
Now, so I put down, what's I call this? Real revolution? No. What's I call this? I don't know. Uh, film? The Brother? Uh, the Brother Speaks? Prepares? No, the brother, the brother in preparation for the preparation for for what for tonight's film let's put tonight's film yeah it'd be fun for tonight's film for yeah for tonight's film for yeah uh, for for I just put a film a film F I L M. Okay, so I put that there. Location, Western Branch. Hey now. Hey, bro. Uh, it's a series. Got a clean job for you. Say again? Got a clean one. What? A claimer. A clean one. A clean one. A clean claim one. Clean job. Um, oh, cleaning job. Clean joke. Oh, clean joke. Yeah. You're going to tell a clean joke. Oh, come on now. I can take a dirty one, man, but okay, go ahead. Do the clean one if you wish. Oh, by the way, let me apologize. Not apologize, but say you were so right about the football games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you were so right. <laughs> Everything you said was... Yeah. Did you win money? Yeah. Of yeah. course, because yeah. you were so right. I was looking, I was looking at someone and I said, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> and every time something happened, I said, Walter, this, and all I can think is, Walter's right. Walter's right. Walter's right. I don't care what game it was. Walter's right. Okay. Yeah, we got, we had, we had it Wait, just, just, just a second. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take this off. Look, gotta go. My brother's here. Later.